Good morning or evening friends, this is JP with Wise Guys Gaming and we're going to take a look at this Greek Fighter matchup. I put these matches up because I felt like they were fun. Uh, I felt like they were competitive. Um, despite me jumping into a beautiful... Oh, you can... Uh, I, these matches felt really strong and particularly because I don't know how to play Milan very well. And so I'm trying to learn and in doing so, you should play matches that are a little tough for you. Sorry, my voice is a little off. I have my herbal tea with lemon and ginger. Mm. <clears throat> All I could think of was Dave Chappelle playing Samuel L. Jackson. Mm -mm. Drink! Uh -huh. But I do enjoy matches like this where, particularly if it gets close, I like that. And I like to be able to play. Like, this is playing against the Ken, but this Ken is not all rushed down, you know what I mean? A lot of Kens just kind of go into the motions of, well, we just gonna keep doing this. And you have to fight your way out of it, which is great because you learn how to fight. You have to learn quickly to fight that style, which helps you learn how to fight Ken, because you have to learn you know, what, what, he, what he can do, what's plus, all that kind of stuff. And so, a lot of this was a little bit slower, so it's a little easier to learn from him because he, I don't feel pressured all the time. Like right there, I kept trying to throw a little jab and stuff in, and I just keep getting punches to the jaw. Oh, get on the ground, boy! No anti-air. Easy throw. Did I lose this round? I was about to say, that would be really bad if I lost that round. <laughs> Far up as I was, oh, oh, oh. and you know, I, I I think these matches are what help you learn to play your character better. Um, you don't want matches where you just get run over. If you if you do find yourself in a match where you're just getting run over, you should absolutely be doing everything you can to learn whatever you can from the matchup. Just throw like random buttons in on stuff that you can't throw in. For example, if he keeps doing the same string over and over again, throw a button out. Um, that Johnny Cage video I put up a while back with Johnny Cage and, uh, and Mataro, I lost that match, and I lost it very easily. But what I tried to do was throw a button out, throw a button out, throw a button out, throw a button out, because I'm trying to figure out what I do next time. At a certain point, I get the, I get the feeling I'm not going to win it, and so I'm just like, well, what do I do next time? <laughs> How do I fix this so it doesn't happen again? And that's kind of what you got to do in some of these matches is if you know you're not going to win it, that's cool, but what do I do for the next time this comes up? How do I, how do I you know, throw, throw them off next time this comes up? Um, and sometimes you might find a way to win it. <laughs> Just because of that. Because a lot of people when you play online have one strategy. They know what they want to do. Look at these kicks. Oh. They know what they want to do. They have one simple strategy. Sometimes they only have one simple combo. Or not even simple. Maybe even one complex combo. And they just keep throwing it out over and over and over again. Because what you going to do? It's working, so why should I stop? Which is perfectly fine. But you get to find a way around it. And once you find that, a lot of times that can get you a win. Taking it step by step out here. Still dealing with these kin kicks. Trying to do a little bit better with my spacing. I do have that problem too. I throw out crouching roundhouse way too much. Way too much. And it's because people don't block low. But the problem with throwing out crouching roundhouse is it leads to nothing. It's just a throw. And if they do happen to block it or parry it or whatever else, Typically what happens is you are due for a pretty good punish. Um, so it's a really bad button to keep throwing out. It's good for range because it's got some pretty good, most of the time it has pretty good range. So it does give you that knockdown which lets you get your wake up and game going. Um, but it's not a good button to kind of poke out with most, most of the time. And I do it way too often. I do love my jab combos. 
especially because they lead to a, a knockdown, and I can kind of goad them into doing something bad. This round is going exceptionally well. He is very good with those uh, those drive impact counters. I, I, I do drive impact at weird moments sometimes. And too often. I don't really need it as much as I use it. Mm. But when you're playing in gold, it kind of fosters you using that because you can catch a lot of people off guard with drive impact and you can get some pretty good wins. And so I tend to use it more than I should. Just like sweep. <laughs> you get a lot of sweep counters, or a, sweep, a lot of sweep hits when you're playing in lower ranks. And so you start thinking, well, this is an effective tool. And it's, it is, but also it's very risky and you shouldn't do it if you don't have to. Look at that little poke. That crouching medium punch is a great poke. Because it can be canceled into other moves. Mm, 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 mm. Nope. Get thrown. Poke. Poke, poke. He's getting my punishes in. I didn't want to go for two or three hits that time. I just went with the one because I knew it would guarantee that. Just jab into it with guaranteed damage. Careful, careful. I like his little run up for pressure afterwards. It just did, I don't think it worked as well as he wanted it to, but it, I like it. Follow the fireball. Let it blaze a path, as it were. Match point, let's go. This team is amazing. Got my uppercuts going, or he's got his uppercuts going. And now I'm just doing more slow pokes. Just trying to, I should have punished that harder, but I didn't. All these punish counters, and this is how I, I will improve. All these punish counters are damage that I'm leaving on the table. I'm getting the win for poking. Like, he helps throw something out and I poke, and I counter poke uh, and get the hit, but I'm not getting damage. And I think that's what separates your higher ranks is, I think your lower ranks are finding ways to get opportunity. And I think your higher ranks are, do you capitalize on the opportunities you are given? So when I get a counter hit poke, and that's all I get, for me, at a higher rank, at a higher rank, a counter hit poke with no uh, follow up, no, no or a bunch of counter hit pokes with no follow up, is like not anti airing at a lower rank. It's something you should, you, should, you gotta, you know, that, that's a, a, a telltale sign if you know what you're doing. And I don't yet. That don't mean I don't win it. Then we had a, a different matchup. I don't know if you want to say it's tougher or not, but it's a different matchup with uh, my boy JP over here, who I have not abandoned. I just playing some other people right now. And the fun thing with JP is, of course, he's trying to keep you out. I don't counter DI as much as I should either. Now, a lot of times I do find myself pressing the button, though. I'm, I'm trying to get better about that when nothing, if nothing else, just go ahead and press the button. So even if you don't get the counter DI, um, if you do get it, it's usually on the last frame, so it's great. If you don't get it, um, you're still training yourself to press the button every time you see it. Every time you see it, press that button. Or every time you see it and can counter it. Like, if you're jumping out of the way or something like that, don't do it. But train yourself to, when you get that hit, and you see DI come out, go ahead and hit that DI. Oh, is that it then? Round two. Fight. Most people train that early on, like in the first month of the game. I did not. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. JP is so much fun. I gotta get back to playing JP. Look at those posts. Bullying his way to the corner. And he is very dangerous in the corner. Uh oh. Oh, but who's in the corner now? Who's in the corner now? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Wanna jump? Now he does that a lot. I was not looking to take him out of the corner there. I was actually looking to sweep, as you might. You've seen my game. <laughs> I was looking to sweep and failed. He dunked on your head. Uh, so he does have that move where he double crouches and presses a punch button and he gets the little spike out of the ground. Please let me know if he's buffering or if he's key value. Not right now, just a little later in the game. I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's buffering. But the way things went down, I took it. I took it. Uh, I took it personally. <laughs> I took that personally. It's good range. Ooh. Got me working on wake up. Ooh, up. Oh, very good. Last possible thing. No, not last possible. It was close. He should have killed there, honestly. I am a big proponent of if you can kill, you should kill. And you should kill there. I know I say that, and I just talked about leaving damage on the table, but I do believe that. I think that's a, a good skill you get early on. If you can get that kill, you probably should get that kill. Do not give your opponent the opportunity to get back in the game. Or win it in that case. Mm. Uh, uh. So much meter. Should have anti air there because now I'm in burnout. That's the difference. Still not anti airing. Uh, 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 uh. Now he's in the corner. Huh? Nobody puts baby in the corner. Uh oh. That would have been a good time to sleep since I like to sleep so much. A rare DI fumble. You don't see people fumble DI like that a lot, but a rare DI fumble. Especially because all he had to do was hit um, Fierce Punch, and that would have been the game. If he just hit Fierce Punch, he would have won that round right there. Going back to being slow, a little more methodical, getting my pokes in, hitting my anti airs now. That sucks. Uh-uh. We hit the wrong one. And now we anti air. I should have punched that that grab. That grab whiff. Wrong one again. Messed my anti air up. You see you saw I went for it. Now there. Was that tea bag or was that. <laughs> Cause that would, if so, he's pressing down a lot for that move. Mm, mm. And before you answer, is that T bag or is that flipping the move? <laughs> you tell me. Cause I feel like he was getting a bit cheeky, and I'm like, ah, you ain't gotta do that. We're having a good match. We're having a good match. Didn't get the throw. Huh? 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 I capped the card, boy. Good throw. But not throw. Anti air. Didn't get that time. That's cool. Got him that time. Dumped him on his head. Should have had a much better punish right there. Much better. He should not have even been able to get DI out. But I am noticing he does that a lot. He goes for sweep and then DI. Hey yo, sing the song. La 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 la. Gumbi. The little OG. Back. 
Decent maneuver. We are still in this fight, boys. That's why I say you gotta kill people when you get the chance. So they'll come back and surprise you. Oh, get out of the sky! I protect Frank Skies. This does make me think of some things I can do as JP to mask my attack, though. Make them think they got me when they don't. Oh, I wanted that. I wanted that bad. That would have been some good conversion right there. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Get down. Not giving him the pleasure of getting that, um, that, uh, counter. I don't think he's gotten counter once. Despite how strong it is. It's only strong if they, if they attack. <laughs> Good, good. I don't think he meant to do it there. Hit a button. He hit a button. And suddenly, this match is going the wrong way. And those little are there key bag buffers, he's not doing any of that anymore. Hmm. Intriguing. So now you can let me know. Do you think that was a... Oh, I had the win right there. Do you think that was a key bag or a buffer? Because he ain't doing it now. <laughs> oh goodness. Either way, we squeak by with a win and we'll take it. Hopefully we'll have more. Thanks for watching. Peace out!